Yo, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. New format. We're on, YouTube, format? we're on YouTube, bro. Oh, we're in video we now. We can't be wearing our I've... underwear and being naked in podcasting anymore because we are literally, they can want, they can see you. We can edit it out, though. No. No? We can't edit this out, this girth. <laughs> I don't even know why you have me on anymore. You're a big YouTube star now, I'm, and I'm pretty much was the anchor. I'm pretty no. sure because we had like, I think three followers before. One was my mom, and I, now okay. So here's what happened. You know what happened? I, I didn't get on there expecting this to happen. I started talking because I found this Micah Stoffer story, and I said I'm just gonna go on there because I I don't know why. I just was like I'm gonna talk about this because yeah, she got under your skin. I got way, like I couldn't believe it. And to this day, nothing has changed. It's gotten worse. But I don't want to talk about her today. Maybe a touch a little bit because I want to talk about some comments that we've gotten. We should probably talk to her so that a million people watch this. Just, okay, <laughs> Micah Stoffer, and then we'll put it in the we'll put it in the the title. Um, but yeah, it's Jeff and I have been doing a podcast for man. How long has it been now? This thing's vibrating in my ear. Oh, sorry. Yeah, get rid of it. Down. Get rid of it. Careful, that's expensive guitar. Like, it's worth more than your car. It's not saying a lot, though. You have an older car. Oh. <laughs> We're still learning new, here. New we'll format. Get, we'll get new format. I got to hold this with my feet so it doesn't go anywhere. So let's leverage it and talk about what we... Like, I still want to be a podcasting for dad, so this is a way we can... I can still do my commentary, and we can still do what we do best. Because for me, Josh. what we did before was therapy. Yes. I don't think if I have to talk about that crazy woman, yeah. that that will be therapy for me. That will upset me. Yeah. Last night's was not therapy. That When I uncovered last night, that video where she talks about all the stuff, that was not therapy. And usually it is therapy. I was more angry when it was over. So I was like, let's just, I want to shut my brain off of that for a while. Yeah. But if you want to know what's going on with Mike Stoffer, just go see the many 15 videos I did about it. <laughs> and then when we do with Dr. Kirk, which people were upset that Dr. Kirk didn't understand because he didn't research. But that wasn't the reason we had him on. No. That's we not had him we had on him to on. talk about narcissistic tendencies in influencers, not about the Stoffer situation. No. And I don't blame him for not wanting to yeah. indulge himself with that story. I don't really want to. I don't want to feed them anything yeah. else that they don't need. Exactly. So you're doing you're doing a good job with that. I am like, I'm parched already. Oh. Do you think you got any Arnie P uh, lemonade iced tea? Arnie Pommies. I just got some today. I bought a whole bunch of treats for my American friends: yeah. ketchup chips and maple cookies. I saw and, that. And so I'm gonna. I got. Them, so let me ask. Let me ask wifey. Hold on. That uh, that video, that first video you did, the the live stream when you uh... yeah, there's nothing, no audio. <laughs> Kelly, hello. Can we get two RDPs and some ice and cups? Man, he's got a good wife. Please. <laughs> Why? What are you doing? It's not an emergency. Sorry. <laughs> did you think it was an emergency? Kathy thought it was an emergency. She's panicking upstairs. <laughs> they thought it was an emergency because I was yelling so loud. <laughs> Sorry, can we get some drinks? Thank you. She's so mad. <laughs> She's so mad right now. <laughs> you, she thought like she thought someone died. Sorry, wife. Uh, Sorry, wife. She's gonna be the one that cancels us. <laughs> yes, it's you. I won't be get canceled. My wife will kill me. If you don't see me in a day, I'll cause I'm dead. I fell downstairs. Pushed <laughs> downstairs. <laughs> so if you've never heard the podcast, um, go listen to it. It's at the, anywhere you get your podcasts, right? This is the most important thing is to listen to our podcast. We have some really, really great episodes out there. there are some All of them are. Fantastic episodes, yeah. The one where our wives take over the podcast, still one of the most popular. Is it really? And I so that's wish... That's one, eh? I know there's, there is There's so much things I wish. Oh my gosh, there's so many... Jeff's wife is very... Um, what's the word? She's very proper. Is that a word? Uh, like, she's, she's polite. She's very like... It's it's nice. It's a good thing, right? She's not out there, you know, stripping and you know wearing <laughs> glitter. She's a really nice lady, and she doesn't want Jeff talking about do, douchey stuff. And so we, she, but she was reading these cards, dad jokes. But they weren't really dad jokes. That was a funny. And they thing. were bad. They were just dirty jokes. Dirty jokes, and they weren't like they weren't. Who's this? Oh, it's Tyson. What's up, scrubs? Hey, thanks, bro. It okay. Thank you. Yeah. Say hi, everybody. Tyson, Thank get in here. Give me on Jeff and say hi. People like Thank no, guys. on Jeff. This one's on Jeff. Talk here. Talk here. Say hi. Hello. Hey, look, he's wearing that's another not, ugly shirt. What a surprise. Not, this is guess. That's not six <laughs> feet. Guess how dumb it looks. <laughs> Snap. <laughs> Sorry. Are any pommies, Jeff? Put them up. Cheers. Cheers. We are not sponsored by Arizona, but that is like my end goal. Oh, yeah? Like, I want, like, I will do anything Why for free, Arnie Pommies. Why would you if we're just... I know, we're just giving them free <laughs> advertising. 
But I don't even care. That's how good this is. This this just speaks to how good Arnie Pommies are. Ooh, look at that. Look at that high pour. That's sometimes beauty. you gotta sometimes you gotta aerate the lemonade iced tea. Cheers up, bud. This is this is our summer episode. Cheers. First back into it. If you've never had an Arnold Palmer, guys, oh my gosh. Oh, and the thing is, look, that's glorious. It is it's sugary. But look, for 250 milliliters, it's 13 grams of sugar. Okay, so a, a can of Coke is like 23 grams of sugar. So this is half the sugar, and it's twice as delicious as a Coke. Coke owns good. Arnold Palmer anyway. It's refreshing. It's very good. You know what? I discovered this one day. I was golfing. I haven't golfed since my Everly was born, basically. But I was so thirsty. And like, the, the you know the beer girls that come around? Yeah, the car girls. Such a sexist thing. But it, those girls make bank, okay? Yeah. And they're always hot. And there, there... she came around with an Arnold Palmer, and she, I said, do you have anything? She's like, it's Arnold Palmer's all I have left. I'm like, oh, I've never had it. And then I drank it, and my life was forever changed. <laughs> Is there never a dude driving one of those carts? Would you buy stuff off a dude? I mean, yeah, if you're thirsty. Probably, I'm thirsty. That's <laughs> yeah, true. I'm not, I'm not there to... I would... <laughs> <laughs> it's a good point. <laughs> you're, like, you're dying of thirst, but as a dude, you're like, sorry. I'm so thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> but this guy's I like... I probably me. would. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just wait for the next one. <laughs> Don't tell me. Okay. Can you please send... <laughs> That's pretty Chachi. Oh, man. Speaking of which, Chachi shirts you can order below. This is nice. Thank you for... You're welcome. Uh, I made that with my Crycut printer. It's sweet. With what? I have a little printer that prints these things. You you got away yeah. from the old... Yeah. Uh, no, the no. Old I, still, I still have to heat press it. Yeah. But I print it on uh, t-shirt vinyl now. Nice. Just prints it out and I copy it and I hit it with a heater. It's nice. How's the quality? Well, you're wearing one. No, I know. But I mean, how is it going to mm. last? And then, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. So let's get to it. I mean, you have a dad joke? Just kidding. What do we do? I'm cutting dad jokes. Do We're you have a dad joke? Them? Why? Okay, cut it. If you got one, the I'm moms here. Moms don't like jokes? It's all moms watching this. Except for the 10 guys who comment and be like, I'm not a girl. We hear you. I like the word. Cheers for watching us. <laughs> Thank you. I can tell you. I, can, okay, here's, okay. I don't know if this is a dad joke. It's just a joke. Okay. Why do uh, fish uh, swim in salt water? Why? Because pepper makes them sneeze. It's stupid. I, well, Why it's dad joke. Supposed to, I mean, it's supposed to be stupid, okay. I guess. Okay, so it's been a long time. So if you don't know the format of our show, we usually go into things like. Airing of grievances. Jeff usually tells us a story because he's a firefighter. If you don't know Jeff's a firefighter, he's a he's a he's been doing this for years. What at least at least one year? <laughs> it's uh, seventeen years. Seventeen now. years as a firefighter. So yeah. Jeff, uh, he's been on the. There's been lots of stories. The bag of dick story is a really funny one. Did that one ever make it out? Did we? Yeah, I'm sure we that out. If not, yeah, it's out there. No, I think it's on the one. The one. Oh, is it? I think. Maybe we'll tell the bag of dick story. Can you tell the bag of dick story today? Are you allowed? I don't know. Okay, well, we'll figure it out. We'll, I'm sure you have another story. Anyway, oh, yeah, Jeff always has these stories about being a firefighter, like uh, Bad Mayonnaise, where the guy, f was this, <laughs> someone farted in your face or something like that? It was, uh, yep, Un unfiltered, <laughs> unfiltered uh, bare-ass fart. fart right in my face. <laughs> and he's like, I had Bad Mayonnaise. <laughs> it, was his, it was his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> What'd she say? They were both high. Yeah. So she was she was reeling in the doorway of the, of the house, and every time we'd... Every, the, the boyfriend's putting a, a blanket over her, right? Cover her up because she's buck naked, <laughs> laying in the threshold of the door. It's the weirdest thing you could ever see. And then every time she's ripping it off, I don't know, she was hot, right? She's yeah. fevered or whatever. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, so the guy that I was with, the partner, was working on the head end of things because he's, <laughs> he's questioning, getting yeah. a history and all yeah. that. And I was on the bad end of things <laughs> only because... That's how a body works, and yeah. I was getting, you know, getting the the uh, oxygen ready, yeah. getting passing him stuff, getting getting him whatever he needs. And while this is happening, as she's reeling in pain, she lets a unfiltered, bare ass <laughs> fart after telling us after telling us she had diarrhea issues right in my face. And I lived. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're not dead. Yeah. yeah, so that was the story. So that can be today's story. I guess people have heard I, that in a that's long a good time. Story. And YouTube, they're not going to go listen to our podcast. So we can re <laughs> we can recycle every topic we've done on this right. show, which is I'm excited about. Right. Um, airing of grievances. I mean, like that's a, usually a big one for us. Jeff hates my neighborhood because everybody in my neighborhood drives a nice car and they're all jackasses when they don't check where they're coming into the it's middle of the road. They, in front of you. They it's... hate everybody. My neighborhood is full of chachi people. <laughs> But um, what else has been going on? How are the kids? Oh. <laughs> what? Let's do this. Jeff got braces, waiting, by the way. You know. He's got, when did you get uh, your braces? I got them before this COVID thing. We're only supposed to be on for four months, and then COVID <laughs> kicked me in the nuts again. <laughs> Not kick COVID? 
COVID's kicking people in the nuts I like just, every day. It doesn't bother. I mean, like Kathy got so mad at me today for not washing my hands after I came to the grocery store, and she's <laughs> she's yelling at the kids when I was doing a YouTube live. Good thing their audio wasn't on because she was yelling at the kids in the car. It was so funny. <laughs> they were fighting over garbage. <laughs> anyway, tell me about the kids. What's going on? So Ty's 17. He'll be 18 this year. He's yep. just a late birthday. And uh, Thatch is 16. And uh, Tito. Tito is uh, 14. And Tito doesn't like her name out on the internet. And Jeff's, and that's good because we talked about consent and family vloggers and everything. And yeah. Tito doesn't want to be on camera. And, and Jeff honors that because yeah. cause Tito is the princess of the family too. So <laughs> she gets whatever she wants. Don't say that. You're going to get me in trouble with the other two again. <laughs> Oh man! So Ty's Ty's doing good. Yeah. He's got himself a little job that he he fired up. Trish found somebody asking for somebody to do uh, swimming lessons because yep. everything's closed down right now because of right. COVID. So he um, he's a lifeguard. He does swimming lessons when yep. for the city, and he and he gives mm, lessons to seven bank. kids, making pretty decent decent good dose. For him, so man. good for him, right? I yep. like that. That's yep. good. But <laughs> here it comes. Here it comes. So he's going to university. Yeah. Down the street from our house come September. Right, because right? your wife works there and he gets free education, right? Uh, my Ish. wife works there and part of the benefit is, yeah, yeah. education. So he's going to go there. That's a smart thing to do. Yes. Wise. So, good. Then all of a sudden he comes with, oh, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to move out. <laughs> what? So at first you're kind of like, why would you move anywhere else? Yep. Well, it's an experience. It's an experience, he says. Okay, I kind of get that. The experience. But here's where he's at. He doesn't have any money. <laughs> he literally hasn't even been paid from any of these swimming lessons yet. He has zero dollars. <laughs> zero dollars. He already owed us money for, from before for uh, for his uh, insurance on the car because we make him pay half because I yep. want a somewhat responsible kid. Yep. And, and, and no money. And so then he's asking, well, can I borrow 800 bucks for the down payment? You could save a lot of money by not doing this. Yes. Go debt free yes. and live the rest of your life after university. Yes. Ty needs a slap. Sorry, Ty. Well, you're dumb. I'm. I'm not at the point of him being dumb. I, I started there for sure. Yeah. I get the experience. Yeah. But part of the problem I has is have is that one these guys came to him because they needed a fifth guy. Oh, I see. Okay, he's going with a bunch of dudes. Yep. So. Four guys already were going into this place and they needed a fifth guy. So he's like the fifth guy. And it was like a literally a last minute, like, oh, we need you to look at this and sign it now. So that was kind of part of, I'm going, Ty, like, take some time to think about this. So he wisely went to them and said, that's too little time. I need yeah. more time. Those guys reached out to the landlord and said, uh, we need more time. And it was given to them. So that was good. So okay. at least he thought about that. I do good. appreciate that of him. Awesome. But- he still, it didn't matter any logic that you said, like, hey, you can save some money, maybe buy a place afterwards, you know, do it second year. Anyhow, he wants the experience. <laughs> My problem was going to be, though, okay, so you want to move out, you want to sleep in a, a bed somewhere else, you're not coming back here for meals, right? <laughs> you know he's going to. Once a week. <laughs> That's what I said. I'm like, you can come back for family dinner once a week. And I'm not trying to be mean. Yep. I'm just trying to say, hey, if you're going to make this decision, you're going to waste that money. You don't get to reap benefits just so you can sleep in another bed yeah. and do whatever you want. Yep. So this happened yesterday. So we've had some more discussion about it. Hey, Ty, I, I think in the end, Ty, it's not going to be, it's not going to be a life or death situation either way. It's just, I just hope he makes the right the right choice, right? So you're out there, if you uh, in the comments below, if you've got teenagers, Jeff and I talk about our teenagers a lot because that's kind of the space we're in. Um, on a lighter note, Tyson and I's relationship, for whatever reason, is amazing. It's better than it's ever been. Like he is just doing super well. Nice. I mean, being home for five months was really good. For, I realized how much anxiety school gave him. He liked school, but I realized how much pressure was on him. Yeah. And it, being home with less pressure changed this kid's life. It was so good for him, dude. Oh, cool. Like, no joke. He talks to us now. <laughs> nice. He'll say hi. Oh, right on. How you doing? He'll And he'll be like, I'm good. Instead, before, like, well, I don't talk to you. <laughs> He's now, he'll like, he'll engage in conversation. Like, it's so good. Tristan's doing really good. Weston had a breakdown the other day, and it wow. made my heart break. He's like, I missed my friends. We didn't even realize. And he started crying. He's five. Kathy's crying. Heartbreak. He, he misses his friends. He verbalized that. He verbalized. He's like, I miss my friends. He starts crying. Oh, man. Poor dude, because he's very good at playing by himself, and so now that's hitting Kathy pretty hard, right? So now it's oh, like, shoot. 
And I'm like, let's go up to your family's, we'll go up to the city where your family lives and let's go visit. She won't do that either. Her yeah. parents both have remission cancer. Yeah. Her sister has uh, underlying conditions. So we can't even touch them, see them, because there's too much danger. Yeah, they so have compromised immune systems. COVID is, for me, I have no family, so I'm like, <laughs> I'm like good. But for her, it's really, it's hitting. But otherwise, sure. been good for the kids so far. Yeah. So relationships are good, but I don't know, man. I, I would actually report the same. Like I, I'm talking about this one issue with Ty, yep. but things have been like quite been a good. quite a bit better. And I almost wonder if it's because you have to face things because you're with each other. So we've actually had some fantastic conversations, which is awesome. Yeah, we should tell Dr. Kirk. Oh, let's go. Oh, I want to dive into our comments a little bit on, on YouTube. You want to talk about one com Okay, there's one comment I, someone made the other day. I said something about Soy Boy. I called James Stoffer a Soy Boy. Yeah, beta male. I heard you say that. <laughs> and the girl's like something about. What's wrong with being a soy boy? At least we're not killing 76 million animals a day to feed us. I'm like, you'd like to talk to Jeff because he's a vegan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I eat meat. Can't talk to me about it. Is that it. what soy boy means? You're, you're soy boy is like, yeah, you're like left soy boy. You eat, like, you eat plant based I eat everything. I like it. Um, soy boy beta male. <laughs> so she was freaking <laughs> out about the. the so if you're, if you're watching, lady who was upset, Jeff's a vegan. So by, by association, I'm a better person. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I don't even, I, you know, I hate that word. I hate I know, saying the I word know. vegan because it just makes Vegan-ish. everybody, well, it's because somebody's going to go on here and they're going to say that I licked a piece of pepperoni once and I'll <laughs> like, have a, someone has a video yeah, you and licking a, a pepperoni. Video, pepperoni Jeff's, it. It's a lifestyle choice yeah. for Jeff because it's not like, it's, it's not, it's political. It's environmental for me. Environmental, yeah. So that's the thing. It started kind of healthy and I've been over three years now though. So it's I mean, kinda, you can eat chips and stuff. <laughs> chips are delicious. Chips are amazing. There's lots you can eat as a vegan that's delicious. Chocolate. Can you eat chocolate? You can also eat vegetables, which are delicious. Oh, yeah, but yeah. <laughs> they're not very good. But uh, what's your comment? You, you showed me a comment that was funny. Which, uh, what are we doing right now? We're doing comments. Comments. Like I want to go through some of the comments. And can you, I air one grievance? Yeah, for do one? it. Air uh, a grievance. This is a grievance. You can edit this out if you want, because okay, okay. I know that this is making you bank with uh, with the Stoffer lady. I here's my grievance. This fan base that you have built, <laughs> which is fantastic. Yeah. They all want to. They all want to watch you be mad at the stoffers, which I get. Yep. But we put out this heartfelt, <laughs> funny video. Heartfelt, funny video. Dad bod. Dad bod. It's glorious. It's it is glorious. Three thousand people watch it out of thirty two thirty two hundred right now. Okay, thirty two hundred people. Why does all these angry people <laughs> not want to watch things that make them smile? Please, they wanna... <laughs> people, please. I get it. The Stoffers, they did bad things. And H, man, I hope H has the best life from now on. Yep. But please, people, it's okay. Smile. Go on those videos Go and watch. Go watch the video. Watch it. Smile. It's fun. And if fun. you like them, Jeff and I will make more. We'll They're, make more. But we it love just, doing them. That was my grievance. I'm like, please, people, <laughs> stop only wanting to hate. Don't get stuck in that. Yeah, it's it, it's a it's it's something we should talk about like uh, in future episodes. But like this whole world of YouTube, which I'm just entering now and trying to understand, that once you hit a, a, a topic and but a lot of mine isn't just like I hit the topic, so let's go. Like I'm actually intri like I'm intrigued by this. Like and it keeps yeah. coming up, and that's and fine. You're right. But I also like I do my parodies. We do I do and people are like oh you're not talking about uh, Black Lives Matter. You're not talking about police and all this stuff. And I'm like well you saw the other videos right talking to your kids about privilege, um, <laughs> talking to your kids about um, consent. Nobody like I'm getting a few views yeah, but nothing like the but other ones no, exactly. And so in order to build that base, I will talk about what you want. But I also the other stuff. A lot of people will get it. Like this one, we'll get some stuff out of it. And so we'll just build from there. We'll do all of it. Yeah, I'm aware. I just. I just want people I, to laugh. I, I want. I want to bring joy. Yeah. Not I agree. always. Not always. Pain. Pain joy. and the hammer. Pain. So anyway, all right. You want to read some comments? Yeah. You said you had one there. That's pretty funny. Uh, well, I got this lady here. This lady thinks she said the first dad, which I'm assuming is me, looks like the guy from Law and Order. <laughs> I've got that before <laughs> who too. Who that? I'll what's, tell you who it is. Look, I got a picture here. It's uh, Christopher Maloney. You think I look like this guy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Totally. That guy's from I've, Oz. That's the guy from. Uh, yeah, I've got this before. You here. are him, dude. That is you, no. dude. Yeah. He's Except got, you have more hair. He's got sexier eyes, though. Look at. He's got the sexy blue eyes. I got it's dark. The, you know what's I the got face? Dark brown eyes. It's the it's the it's the 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 jawline and everything. It's the shape of your face. You do look like him, and, and dude. The receding hairline too. Wow. Everybody it's funny, thinks eh? who people that, my, my I look up. Apparently, I look like uh, what's his name, the fat guy from um, Paul Paul Blart Ma Mall Cop. <laughs> They think you look like. Uh, yeah. They think you so look like Kevin people James. People think I look like Kevin James. I'm Kevin James is a handsome dude. 
I'm cool with looking like Kevin, Kevin James. James. I'm okay with and looking like this guy too, but he's got he's got he's handsome. He's got nice eyes. <laughs> I told everybody that you when you put out fires, Jeff, that you do with uh, with just I saw that just, uh, just shirtless. That's absolutely true. <laughs> I mean, it's just it's summer. <laughs> Got to stay cool. I can smother it with my with my belly. <laughs> You gotta watch Dad Bod. If you girls, ladies, and men haven't seen Dad Bod, go watch Dad Bod because we're bringing back the Dad Bod, and it's bringing joy. Yeah, bring so, some okay. joy. So that's one comment. Let's see what else people had to say. Which videos do you want to check? Because oh, I don't know the angry ones or yeah, go or to the, the fun ones. Fun ones. No, yeah, go go. What I eat in a day. So I did this. I did this parody about what I eat. I put fake eyelashes on. <laughs> that was awesome. That was fun. How did those feel, dude? Not cool. I don't Terrible? like them. They are, it feel like felt, you're like like there's something in your eye all the time. That's awful. I already hate when stuff's in my eye. Why do you ladies do that? They do look good though. Let's pick a let's pick a comment and then that person wins a Chachi shirt. Really? Yeah. You pick one. I'm not gonna pick one. Just ran. Just scoop it down and put your finger on it, and whoever gets it wins. What if it's a crappy comment? Then we'll, edit, we'll, we'll edit. Yeah, it we'll edit it out. It out. <laughs> And the winner okay, of the Chachi go. shirt is... Oh. All right. Uh, Mo Cassidy. Let's see. Single mom, 20 years old, son, Santa Cruz, California. I never comment on videos, but I had to now. You're amazing. Yes, Mo Cassidy, you uh, win a Chachi but shirt. She meant, what? She, thank you, Stoffers, what? for allowing me to find this channel. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> Okay, Mo Cassidy, save that comment and I'll find her. Love and she the mix of sure. content. Amazing. Keep it up. High five to everyone involved and especially your wife. I can mail the chips for you. She can mail the chips. Hey, dude. dude. You saw me. I scrolled and I, yeah. I hit the finger. My chubby finger hit it and it was good to go. Mo Cassidy wins a shirt. You tell me which one you want, color, and I'll send it to you. Wow. Awesome. For you. I want to find this other lady. There's another lady who got upset with us on here. There was one thing. I get a lot of comments on like... Are you done talking about this? I'm like, clearly not, because the 2,000 comments before you saying this are saying, please stop talk please keep talking about this. Yeah, this one lady was upset about the Cardi B thing. Oh, and yeah. the video doesn't have anything to do with Cardi B. We just we just made because her Cardi song B, a yeah. thousand times better. Let me set the record straight. I think Cardi B is the chachiest person of all time. I do not like Cardi B. But the song was popping at the time we did it, and it, we parodied it, meaning we're making fun of it. And made it way we better. We do not like Cardi B. <laughs> We absolutely think Cardi B is not cool. It had nothing to do with Cardi B. Though. Yeah, Cardi B is not cool. So anyway, she just said, yikes, Cardi B, 800 kinds of uh, problematic. I thought you were somewhat aware. We are. We don't like her. Yeah. Set just be straight. happy that the song is way better now. It is better. A lot of people like the... Uh, I like I like finding out the different parts of the video that people like. Yeah. A lot of people liked... Uh, Oh, the candy, the candy the fall, candy, the candy, uh, the uh, flash dance, uh, flash candy dance. fall, and we, and you know that's what we went for, and so some people and that didn't was get impromptu it. too when we did that. I knew it, it uh, was glorious. That was awesome. Uh, Ed in line for the handout. Somebody like yep, that. That was good. They caught that. Um, I like the people that are catching the ones like I did the parody for um, what I do in a day. Yeah. And I drew boobs on the page and only one person caught it. Yeah. Only one person. That's I awesome. love when people are looking for and some people yeah. are finding things like Easter they eggs. Look, they look at like a thing on my wall. They're like, oh, I know where you live now. I'm like, who are you people? They're so good. That's a little bit crazy. There's some weirdos. Anyhow. Here's the thing that uh, I want to make a shirt called uh, Not My Jam. Because if you watched the video t last night about what she said in the video I covered about Mike Stoffer, what she said, taking care of cancer oh. patients is not my jam. <laughs> Could you imagine? I, I think I actually ground <laughs> off some of my teeth when she said it. I like, I, I cringed. It's not my I, jam. I was uh, like, ooh, that's cringy. I'm going to make sure to say not my jam. Mike Stoffer is not my jam. <laughs> would you buy that shirt? Would you? Jeff and I will make I the shirt. You buy, buy the shirt. You buy it. You buy I'm it. Not, I'm Mike not wearing Stoffer it because I don't want to talk about her ever. So <laughs> I, I probably get sued for that. <laughs> but uh, anyway, okay, this has been awesome. We're back at it. I love it. We're going to have more top. We're going to have better topics next time, I promise. I well, we were supposed to have an interview today. Yeah. And that's not true. next week, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. I don't want to say who it is. But yeah, we definitely. And we're and there's another uh, YouTube family vlogger people that I reached out to that I think do it right. Okay. And we're going to interview them. Okay. About like the pros and cons and like what you're doing right because they're a really cool family. I just don't want to say it until it happens. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah for sure. But uh, you'll like these guys. Very nice. cool, very authentic. Because okay. I don't want to say every family vlogger is bad because they're not. And I will keep saying that. They're not. We should live stream when we go to Canada's Wonderland this year. Whew, that'd be fun. that'd be fun. Jeff Maybe barfed in the, again. Jeff barfed in the bushes last time was great. First time I've ever barfed on a ride, and it made me here's what we'll sad. do: we'll take the GoPro and you beat the record on the airplane that flies around. That's what made me throw up. But you did thirty times in you or something, fifty times or something insane. I don't know if I could do it again. He's gonna do it with the GoPro though. If you barf, it's good for video content. That's true. I'll eat something good. Yeah, <laughs> something I'll lick bad. pepperoni beforehand. <laughs> so. Thanks so much for watching the Dad Challenge uh, podcast. I'm really happy to be back. I hope that I'm not the thing that was. Uh, 
keeping you away at the beginning because Josh will kick me off after this if that's the case. Anyways, I will not. No. Congratulations for uh, what you do. Jeff is and legacy here. Jeff is legacy. And again, we, we're not sponsored by these guys, but go get some. <laughs> if you've never had this, delicious. And Mo, what's her name? Mo something. You forget her name already. Mo. I'll go back in the video. Mo and watch Cassidy. It. We'll Mo find Cassidy. It. You want a no, shirt? Oh yeah, I think so. Mo Cassidy. Yeah. If you're hearing this, but only if you comment again, I'll give you a shirt. Oh, she's got to comment yeah, again. Yeah, because you're not good. watching. Then Incentive. I'm not hooking. You got to bring yeah. it. You skin she in said the game. she never comments either. Skin so it'll be game. your second comment. It'll be worth it. Follow Do us on it. Facebook, the Dad Challenge Podcast. Twitter, Dad Challenge Pod. Instagram, the Dad Challenge Podcast. And watch fun videos and listen to good, uh, good content that we have yep. on our podcast. Go watch the parodies. And they are our pride and joy. You're our therapy. Thanks for watching. We love you. See ya.